Lars Henriks, it's an absolute privilege to hear, have you here tonight as an internet pioneer, as a serial entrepreneur, founding multiple companies, including Zing, uh, as a, an investor, as a, a promoter of entrepreneurship globally. First off, today we describe you as an internet, internet pioneer, but when you set out in the late 90s and founded your first company or companies, what were you hoping to achieve? What, were you, what was your ambition then? I think uh, I started my companies in the 90s, but uh, you have to know that I'm on the internet since 1989. So uh, back then it was an acoustic coupler where you connected the phone with a modem and logged onto the internet. So I was fascinated with the internet from the very early beginning. This was way before Tim Berners-Lee came up with World Wide Web. And uh, seeing the possibilities of connecting and reaching out uh, with the digital um, business was just so big that I was hooked. It was just a, pa a passion, a fascination for you. So more about kind of this fascination with digital rather than about kind of entrepreneurship per se. Entrepreneurship came later. I'm coming from an entrepreneurial family, so the roots were there. And uh, I have to say, I have this kind of positive gene defect that I uh, don't see any risks. I just see opportunities and start companies. Which brings me nicely on to my next question, which is about failure. Because obviously you've had, had tremendous success, but you've also had a couple of failures along the way. How have those failures shaped you as an entrepreneur? I think a failure is only if you do it twice. Uh, so in the first time it's always learning and this sounds much better than a failure so uh, definitely I had big learning lessons uh, in my early career and also with Zing uh, I would say we just did more things right than wrong and then you set up the Open Business Club the uh, later known as Zing in 2003 what was so innovative about that at the time? The business idea behind uh, Zing was simply I wanted to know the context of my contacts. Uh, so I read the book by Martin Gladwell, uh, The Tipping Point, and I said, uh, how cool would it be uh, if I would know the context of my contacts? Because the biggest uh, business opportunity is not within your existing contacts, it's within your contacts in the second degree. So it was no, no copycat, nothing like, like this, and I just uh, solved a problem for myself. And it became much more successful than I ever thought. I quietly remember when we uh, went public in the IPO time, I found my Excel business sheet of uh, the future business plan. And uh, what we achieved uh, within a week was back then what we would have achieved in the quarter. So uh, it was much better than I thought. And so obviously the, the idea, the power of the idea helped it to become so successful. But what other factors do you think explained its success? I think many, from, from the right team, from the right moment of time, uh, lucky or luckiness was definitely a good opportunity that when I started in 2003, um, there was no business model uh, available uh, like advertising. So I, I knew that I needed to make money out of the users and I just charged them. So the company uh, got to two or wrote two invoices on the first day of inception, and within 90 days it was cash flow positive. A very nice uh, stand if you want to raise money from VCs. And actually quite an unusual story for uh, an internet company to be making money from, from the word go. Throughout your career you've been a real advocate for entrepreneurship. You've done all sorts of things to help promote it through investment, through your initiative of Hack Forward, th through your work with the World Economic Forum. What do you think is the situation right now in Germany? What do you think needs to change? Uh, first of all, I think many things have changed. Uh, on, uh, going entrepreneurial way or working in a startup has become a career alternative. And this is much better than what I had in the 2000s. So uh, entrepreneurship or working for a startup is valid, it is working, and you can learn so much that it's, uh, I would say, even better than a standard career. Standard career, definitely you have the choice of uh, studying or not studying. I dropped out on the first day of my university career and just started companies uh, because I think I have this kind of positive gene defect, uh, seeing opportunities on not risks. I can't wait to hear more. I can't wait to hear more about your latest venture as well, um, but I'm going to save that for the lecture. So thank you very, very much. And uh, yeah, let's get the lecture started.
Excellent. Thank you very much.